All right, our first panel of speakers on stage. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so let me just take a moment and I'll introduce you by name to these lovely women. We've got Paige Panzarello, Iris Veneration, Jennifer Maldonado, Terry Gardner, O'Leary. <laughs> is that how we're is that what we're going by these days? Okay. Ginger Macias Hernandez, I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, Don Rickball. So if you don't mind, ladies, um, we're going to utilize these mics in front. We're going to share with each other. And I'd just like you to take a few minutes to um, give a brief description of your name and what part of real estate that you are involved in. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm so glad to see everybody here. Um, I have been introduced. I'm Paige Panzarello. I'm the cash flow chick. Uh, I know. <laughs> um, I have been a real estate investor for over 20 years. Uh, I've done just about everything there is to do in real estate investing, uh, with the exception of being a realtor. Uh, I've owned my own construction company. I had 36 employees. We held all of our licenses. I even had a sewer treatment plan at one point in time. Don't ask me about that because that's nothing I want to discuss anymore. <laughs> I've done um, tax deeds, tax liens, fix and flip, wholesaling, you name it, I've done it. And I am currently investing and I have found my home. Notes. I invest in non-performing notes across the country. Uh, and I absolutely love it. When I started investing in this particular medium, angels literally sang for me. And uh, yeah, so if you want to talk uh, with me more, please ask, ask lots of questions because I know that not a lot of people know about this particular space. So thank you. Awesome. Hi everyone, my name is Iris Veneration. I run Invest Club down in Orange County. Uh, woo -woo. <laughs> have fun, make, Bye. yeah, oh, see, <laughs> wow, I am a fix and flipper, I love doing it, just like those TV shows, I like the big fat checks, and I also understand it's very important to have passive income, so my passive income vehicle are rentals, I love uh, buying holds as well, I think it's a, uh, you need to have that balance, and I'm also doing a lot of Airbnbs right now. So if you have any questions about that, you can certainly ask me, or anything about getting down and dirty, <laughs> swinging that hammer. No, okay, I don't swing a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> anyway, Iris Veneration, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, Deborah, for putting this event up. What an amazing, amazing place for all these women to come together. Let's give that a hand. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jennifer Maldonado, and as Iris and the girls, I'm really honored to be here, and I'm really glad that you guys, you girls, made the decision to be here. Um, what I do, as, as in a short period of time, I have experienced rehabs, uh, non-performing notes, performing notes, wholesaling, multifamilies, and all of those. And I, I still love all real estate strategies, but one of the things that I love the most is people. And because I love people, I raise capital. And I help people to put their money where it's gonna be the most beneficial for them that align with who they are, their strategies, their short and long terms, uh, financial strategies, in other words. And the other thing I, I'm enjoying a lot is tax deeds. Uh, I haven't done a transaction in that one, but I will be very soon. I'm expecting to, to do some of those. But if you have questions to where to find money, how to find money, how to influence people to, to um, invest with you, then just ask me and I will share with you. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Terry Garner and I'm happy to be here as well. Deborah, thank you for putting on this wonderful event. I've been full time in real estate for 10 years now, 10 and a half years, uh, part time even before that. And in that time, done a lot of different things. Started with single family rentals, did some fix and flips, uh, even did some staging for a while. 
And my partner and I, who you'll be hearing from, she'll be on the panel in the afternoon, or the second panel coming up. Um, what we currently do are self-storage properties. When we got together, we had a hard money lending business. Forgot to add that too. So we originated notes. We also did some non-performing notes in there. And then we started lending on storage. And that's how we got into the storage space. And now we buy them. We have a full-fledged fund that we have. And we just closed on our 12th property. So we buy in all, all parts of the country. We actually don't buy in California. They're, they cash flow better in other areas. And one of the great things that we love about it is with multi-units, when somebody vacates, you don't feel that sucking feeling of all of a sudden you can't afford to pay the mortgage or however you financed it. You've got other units that are cash flowing as well. And then in particular with storage, what is really awesome about it is because no one's living in the property, you don't have to evict, you don't have to foreclose if they stop paying you. The laws around storage are much different. There's no Fair Housing Act that you have to comply with. So if someone stops paying you, you just put a lock on their unit. And you can pretty quickly get um, at least get them out. Uh, just by following some of the local laws. So anyway, that's why we love the niche. Uh, we've tried a lot of different things. If you're interested at all in storage, we'd love to chat with you at any point in time during the day. Uh, my name is Ginger. Macias is my stage name. My married name is Hernandez. <laughs> I've been doing wholesaling and rehabbing for 10 years now, and um, I love it. I am a deal hunter, a deal finder. So I actually started applying my wholesaling to commercial properties and was doing an internship for about a year and a half with a developer as an acquisition specialist. So um, wholesaling, I think, is a perfect way to get into real estate. So actually, how many here are just starting in real estate? Good, you're in the right spot. <laughs> so wholesaling, I, I would recommend that if you're just getting in and how to find a property, what to know what it's a deal, and go find a buyer for it, and then you'll start building your business to do other things. So um, welcome everybody, and I look forward to hearing everybody here on the panel too. Uh, I'm Jessica, California anymore. How does this technology work? Uh, I used to live in uh, over in Alhambra, California, Temple City, raised all the babies there. But three and a half years ago, we escaped, you know, up 395 to Carson City, Nevada, over the state line where you don't pay. And my cost of living went down so much. <laughs> It's great. So, you know, there's making passive income, but if your expenses don't go down, you know, you got to decrease your expenses and raise your passive income, then you're free. Even if it's just a couple hundred bucks, right? Nobody owes your time, owns you, right? You're free to give your, develop your gifts and your, spread your beauty on the planet instead of being a debt slave to the system, right? So, um, I was a nurse, uh, I graduated from BYU. As a Mormon, um, no offense, but I actually didn't end up staying a Mormon. I did get kicked out of that club. <laughs> uh, but uh, just me. You would get kicked out of that club. Well, yes. I know. It's for it, it's good behavior, of course. Um, Sorry. <laughs> you're laughing. You know because I was at Iris's and talking to you on, uh, with some wine, and you know things you shouldn't know. So a whole our conversation. She doesn't remember. <laughs> I was like, it's really connected. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I graduated with uh, my RN, uh, my Bachelor of Science, and I worked at Huntington Memorial Hospital. I worked in the ICU. I worked in the ER, I, I had three babies right in a row, boom, 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 three babies in three years. I was nursing and or pregnant for three and a half years of my life and I didn't sleep hardly ever. And then, uh, and then I was going through massive chaos and got divorced and all sorts of things and then married a girl instead of a boy and it was all <laughs> Um, anyway, the thing is, I was a nurse, and then, uh, uh, you know, in 2004, uh, you know, I, I had been, you know, you're pretty busy 
like, you know, your W-2 jo job is great for when you're raising a bunch of babies, right? Yeah, I don't care. You need consistency and, um, and stability. Uh, and but I kept going to these little, um, you know, weekend things like Robert Allen came through town, and, you know, all the little things. But uh, the no business caught my attention. So I quit my nursing job in 2004 to jump into the no business before I even knew what the hell I was doing. Uh, and so most people go real estate and then they figure out the note space. Well, I was born breach and I started with the note space <laughs> and going into real estate. So now that I'm in Carson City, I'm taking all the stuff that I already know about notes and all the, you know, so all the acquisition and disposition strategies that most people learn later. Um, so now I'm going and, and fixing and flipping. Like I didn't realize that was kind of fun. But it is kind of fun. <laughs> And a little bit of Airbnb. And a little bit of, so like I'm just having fun. So I just feel like, like I'm a Jedi. What led you to your niche of wholesaling and flipping? You guys want to answer that? Uh, what led me to wholesaling and flipping? Okay. So the first flip I ever did, I was actually in my full-time job. I worked in a small company called E-Trade and working 16 hour days, six days a week. Uh, and I, I worked in their mortgage division, and someone uh, had approached me, that I, uh, a colleague, and it was a girl, and she said, do you want to flip a house? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know anything about this, but she had done one prior to that and failed at it miserably. And so she was asking me <laughs> to do one with her, and, but she had this experience that you know, she was able to go through and, and she wanted to do it again and do it with someone that could probably help her along. And so uh, I said yes, maybe, yeah, I said yes. <laughs> and I just remember working this job and running off to Home Depot at 10 o'clock at night, trying to get supplies for the contractor who was working the following day uh, just to be ready so this thing could happen while we were working. And to make a long story short, uh, in four months, or yeah, in four months, we bought, flipped, and sold that house. That first house, I laid tile, I did the demo, I painted the cabinets, I did all this. I was laying sod, no, not sod, I was planting seeds and watering. And, uh, and it was an incredible experience. And I realized I wanted to do that because I needed to understand you know, how hard or how easy something was, and it made me better uh, to figure out what the contractors were actually charging me and if it was worth it. And so after that first deal, um, even working full time and showing up in the evenings and on the weekends, I made like 40,000 on my first deal, not even knowing uh, what was going on. And after that, it was hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Have another, please. Yeah. Um, flipping can be that way. Yeah, Not addictive in those big money checks. Yeah. yeah. Now let me just premise by saying that you know I did this back in 2003. Okay. And so I don't know if you guys or if you're new, maybe you don't remember this, but in 2003 you couldn't make a mistake. It was amazing. So I bought this property wrong. I probably spent way too much, and at the end of the day, I still made money. So it was awesome. I was lucky. Right, uh, and from that I realized that uh, this was before all the TV shows too. And uh, so I just I really love question. Um, so you had a little money to invest in your first flip then. Okay, that's a great question. I was um, yes, because I came off my W two, and remember I was saying that I was working sixteen hour days, six days a week. I had more money than I could spend. I mean, if I had an hour, I would run to South Coast Plaza just so I can do something with the money I had. Now, <laughs> have fun with it, right? But, no, here's the thing. Okay, so here's the thing. I did have money in the kitty, right? And I knew how to get loans. And I also worked with a bunch of people that were making a ton of money as well and didn't have time to invest. So what was really lucky for me is I reached out to my own network, people I worked with, and they wanted to do something, invest in something, and when I started venturing off to do this whole thing, I had a lot of support. So that really helped. Okay. Ginger. 